Hello and welcome to this week's vlog. It is Friday, April 14th. It's about 12.30. I should have started this vlog a little bit ago because I just filmed a Skims try on haul for TikTok and I wanted to show you guys the stuff too. And I was like, why didn't I simultaneously do this so that you guys can see the stuff on? But I'll insert clips from the TikTok in here so you can see them on. But I got a few tops specifically because I think I mentioned it in the last vlog. I can't remember if I did, but if I didn't, I am going to Korea and Japan. My brother is telling us that we can't bring that much stuff. So I'm trying to bring a capsule wardrobe. So just like basics that I can mix and match and wear like multiple times. And I have a lot of basics, but not a lot of basics that I actually like wearing. I can pinpoint something wrong with a lot of it. Like that one's not comfortable, that one the sleeves aren't long enough. So I bought just three tops. The one I'm wearing, this tank top. I bought the TikTok viral skims, uh, what is it called? The soft smoothing seamless t-shirt. And you guys, insert clip. It is like hands down the best baby tee or like small t-shirt that I've ever put on my body in my entire life. I have to get more of these before I go on the trip. At least one other. A million out of 10 recommend this t-shirt. It's so good love this tank top too but it is just like a tank top it's a rib tank top i don't know if i would go buy a bunch of the skims ones in other colors because you can find a ribbed crop tank pretty much anywhere this one stood out to me because it is like this cream color versus white but it is really good quality it fits really nicely and everything um and then i also got this long sleeve jersey cotton t-shirt which is also very very cute i wish the bottom fit you'll see in the video um i wish the bottom of it fit more like the smoothing tee does how it like hugs your waist and kind of bunches up this one's a lot wider on the bottom but i just tied it in the back and i thought it was still cute like that but yeah i just filmed that we also finished filing our taxes like ew have y'all done your taxes taxes were fun when you get a refund check it's not fun anymore because <laughs> we don't get a refund check i do want to go to the gym today at some point i mean i don't today i'm not feeling it but i still think i should go the main thing i need to do today and tomorrow is edit my entire life away yeah i need to edit i need to be disciplined and like get shit done it is the next day sorry if it's loud i feel like my ac is loud in here today but i have it like on low but oh my god it's so hot every pottery class i've taken so far it's been freezing like freezing in there today's the first day that we're all sweating in there like i'm so hot i had a flannel on i've never worn shorts to my pottery classes but i have like shorts and a t-shirt on and it's so freaking hot i'm dying but i feel like i'm getting better at trimming i, I see small improvements with everything but the one thing Oh my god there's a bug and i was like that better not be inside my vehicle the one thing i was like getting really frustrated with was trimming basically like when you throw a pot right or like a whatever a bowl a cup it's just flat you have to trim the bottom so like how a bowl or a cup looks on the bottom it's usually not just flat like usually there's some kind of lip or i don't know like some shape to it maybe it's rounded maybe there's like a little rim on the bottom you trim that shape on the bottom and stuff so that was really hard for me to learn still not perfect but i'm gonna put up pictures from today of what my trimming looks like now and i feel like it's getting a lot better so that's good now i'm just about to head home and literally today i have to edit this entire day i got a lot done but i also feel like i got nothing done so a lot to do today but i'm gonna head home and i will see you guys there oh no no This probably looks so weird. I don't think I, ow. I don't think I mentioned this in the last vlog with my TMJ update because I completely forgot. I have forgot because I hadn't done it yet. But basically I have a bar on the bottom of my mouth. Before I was accidentally pushing it into my gums with my tongue unknowingly while I was sleeping. This is something like you probably don't know and I didn't know because you don't, it's not something you think about unless you have to. When your mouth is closed, your tongue is resting at the top, like the roof of your mouth. It's like 
a very simple thing, but you don't sit around thinking about where your tongue is when your mouth is closed. So if you're just sitting watching TV, your tongue is at the top. That's where it should be anyway. If it's not, maybe get that checked out, but it should be at the top. But when you sleep, sometimes people sleep with their mouth open. I don't always, but like, I guess I was occasionally. Cause once your mouth falls open, your tongue will fall down to the bottom. I guess occasionally I was sleeping with my mouth open and my tongue was pushing this wire and lodging it into my gums and it was very painful. So they had to fix the wire and like remove it from my gums because my gums were literally like forming a callus around this metal bar it was it hurt in order to prevent me from continuing to push that bar into my gums over the next however long I have that bar for they told me I need to start lip taping when I go to sleep in order to keep my tongue at the top while I'm sleeping where it should be my mouth has to remain closed while I'm sleeping so therefore I tape my mouth shut. <laughs> I thought I wasn't gonna like it and it was gonna make me feel very claustrophobic, but it really, it's not bad at all. Like I don't even notice it. It doesn't affect the way I sleep. I can fall asleep just fine. It's not uncomfortable. It's like really simple, but that's what I have to do right now. That's why that was on my mouth. But it's like, it's kind of later. I didn't just get up, but it looks like I just got up. I was in the office uploading the last vlog and another Two Cents episode. When you're watching this, there's a new Two Cents episode up and it's Girl, it is so juicy. I had waited a while to edit this one. By the time I was editing it, I completely forgot like what we talked about, what the entries were about, like I had no clue. So I kind of found out as I was editing it and I was like, holy shit, like I forgot about these entries. They're so juicy. So definitely go watch that episode. Okay, I finished all my skincare. I feel nice and clean because I showered and everything. And now I am about to go outside with Luna, but it's fine. I already put on sunscreen on my face, but the more the merrier. And also on a, oh my God, got that like in my eye. But this is like, this is the one we have downstairs for Vic to put on before he leaves to go places. But it's Neutrogena Beach Defense Water and Sun Protection SPF 70. It's really sunny today. I'm gonna put this on my arms, especially the one with the tattoo. We don't want it to fade. And also, Luna got a new harness. Basically, the harness that caused her to scratch my face. She doesn't like it because she had to, I had to put her head through it because it didn't unclip like around the neck. I had to like put it over her head. So I found one, this one. This one clips around the neck and around her body. So I don't have to stick her head through anything. I can just clip it around her. So we're gonna take her outside really quick. I'm also on FaceTime with my, with my bestie so she can, hear you well you're not talking because okay wait say hello hello <laughs> she's in houston she also has a cat but she doesn't take her cat for walks this is her cat her name is what's her le her long name estelle estella estelle. her name is estelle but we call her stella i call her stelle bell and look how fucking cute she is <gasps> hi stelly oh my girl she's so fucking cute come up when you want to go outside yay Oh, this one's way easier. Good job, Luna. Perfect. She like literally just stood there while I put that on. Look at your new harness. Okay, she wants to go out, so we're gonna go out. Okay, we're in from our walk, and she loved her new harness. I love that new harness. I know there, I don't think there are that many other cat walkers that watch my stuff at all, but if you are looking for a cat harness or a small dog harness, look in my Amazon shop, because I'll have it linked under kitty things. But it's a really good harness. 20 out of 10 recommend. But now I'm gonna make my breakfast smoothie. Oh. I almost forgot, my friend is still on the phone. Hi. <laughs> I forgot my video went up and I need to post it on Instagram. Okay, so that video went up at noon. The two cents video is going up at three. Ooh, yay, and Vic bought spinach, so I can put spinach in my thing. Spinach. I can both your you're talking to me. Oh, just both. <laughs> it's a family, it's a group. It's, just, it's all girls here, Devin. I don't think any guys watch my vlogs. My friend watches your vlog. Who? Oh my God, Lindsay's so sweet. She's like a fun, cool mom. How do you know Lindsay? Because um, she talks to me on Instagram. <laughs> Why are you laughing? She's gonna see this. So much <laughs> Lindsay, Devin approves of our friendship. At one point, Devin, we tried to buy like fruit 
cut it ourselves and then freeze it. The way that I will rad I'd rather pay $20 a bag for this fucking frozen fruit. It was so much work. I said, absolutely never doing this again. Then we go in with all of these. How do you not know this? Cause you don't wash my shit, bitch. Fiber, <laughs> fiber protein powder, multivitamin, vitamin C with, or calcium with vitamin D. I love that. She's a healthy queen. She's a healthy queen. <laughs> Okay, I cleaned up a little, but I forgot that when I was taking Luna for a walk, a delivery guy came and delivered this and I have no clue what it is. I don't know. But whenever it says Leah Toshia instead of my real last name, I'm always like trying to think of where, like what, where this came from. <laughs> oh, it's from NARS. How exciting. Oh, look how cute this little bag is. Okay, so yes, we have the Radiant Creamy Concealer. I got Medium Deep One, which is Biscuit, Deep One, which is Cafe, and then Medium 1.75 Tiramisu. They're very similar. So uh, Biscuit is on top, Tiramisu is on the bottom. So if y'all can see, I think this one might be a better color match. And then this one is a little lighter for like my under eye. These are perfect. Oh my God, I'm so freaking excited. And then Deep Cafe. I don't think I've ever looked at the deep range because I'm obviously not deep. Ooh, but I can definitely contour with this. I think that's what they were doing. I think they were sending me a color match, a highlight, and then a contour. Cause that's pretty much like what, what these are for me. So this, I feel like you can see it better like this. Like this one would be my color match this one would be like to highlight under my eyes and stuff and then this one i could use to contour they just look so stunning and the formula i already know the formula is good oh my god i'm so excited y'all i suck i was gonna vlog when tori and trent came over and i was gonna vlog us watching the love is blind reunion and everything and introduce you to trent tell me why i completely forgot when we have company and stuff. I just get like in the moment and I completely forget about social media and like filming stuff. Also, I think I was distracted because as most of you probably know, the Love is Blind reunion was a complete and utter shit show because it was supposed to be live on Netflix. Netflix basically crashed because so many people were trying to watch the live at one time. Everyone was posting on Twitter, on TikTok, on Instagram that they were trying to watch it and it wasn't working. It was like a whole thing. And we were all ready. Like we ordered pizza, we had drinks, we we're all sitting in the living room like on time ready and waiting for the reunion. Netflix was saying they were working on it for like an hour. So by eight o'clock we ended up finding, I don't know, I don't know what Twitch is or how it works, but Vic pulled it up on Twitch. I guess someone was like streaming it. So what happened was like some people around the US were able to watch it. Somehow, I don't know, but we weren't able to watch it. Um, so people were live streaming it like on TikTok Live, on all these streaming platforms. So we ended up watching it on Twitch but we missed like the whole beginning of it so we saw part of it it was super annoying but all to say we were completely distracted by all that stuff i completely forgot to vlog there was just so much going on like tori changed her hair you guys are gonna see it in the next two cents episode tori changed her hair it looks so freaking good so like i was just completely distracted and did not vlog at all so i'm so sorry but it is the next day it's two o'clock and i just got done with my myofascial appointment but now i want to run to sally's i've been wanting to freshen up my hair but also like re-dye it so i don't know if y'all remember when when I first dyed my hair red from brown, I loved the color of it, okay? So it looked like, okay, like this picture, look how red it was. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's very red. So that was the first time I dyed it and I loved the color of it. It even took me a while to get used to it, used to it because of how red it was. But then I needed to refresh it. And when I refreshed it, I didn't love the color as much. The first time I dyed it red, I did high color. So the second time I dyed it, I did high color again, which was a mistake because high color lifts your hair. So really the second time that I did my hair, I just wanted to, I should have just toned it, but instead I did the lifting, all the lifting stuff again. So then it got a little bit more coppery and less red i don't know you can see it's probably you can probably tell it's lighter and just more on the orangey warm side than the deep red that it was so then the third time i went to refresh it i was like i'm not going to do the high color again i'm going to tone it like i knew i should have done the second time but then when i toned it the toners i bought were the level i got was too dark can't even remember what i bought but if you know anything about hair like a level one hair is like black so even most people that have dark dark 
dark, 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 dark brown hair naturally, then it looks black. It's usually not even a level one. It's like a level two or three. And then the blondness of blonde, blonde, blonde is like a level nine, 10 or whatever. The toners I got, I think it was a level five, which was too dark, but I knew it would fade and like lighten up and wash out over time, which it did. I have to turn the car on. I'm literally sweating and dying. So I want to hit Sally's and I recently found a girl on TikTok and I screenshotted her formula because she did it herself at home. But this is what her hair looks like. See the color and how it's like a little bit lighter and brighter. She used one bottle of five RV burgundy, half a bottle of six RVs. So she did use a level five, but only like part of the formula. The other two colors she used were level six. I think I'm just gonna copy her same formula. I'm a little scared, but fuck it. I'm just gonna do it. Okay, I got the goods. The red like row was damn near empty. I was like, oh, of course, they're not gonna have what I need and I'm gonna have to go to another Sally's. So this is what the girl had. She had five RV, six RV and six R. So I got all of those. You know, in my head, it's gonna work out how I'm picturing, but we will see. Again, I'm not gonna do it today. I'll probably do it Thursday, but I will vlog it. So you will see if it works or if it's complete and utter chaos guys we have some more packages i just got home like 20 minutes ago i checked the mail on my way in because i knew i had at least one package i was so annoyed i like i'm not a karen but sometimes i feel my karen my inner karen coming out the mailman put this box he literally had to have like took an object to like hammer this thing into the mailbox like it did not fit i had to like open it just to try to rip this box out of the mailbox and instantly while i was doing it i was like i want to leave a letter hi please don't shove boxes in the mailbox that very clearly don't freaking fit in there but anyways i don't even know what this is maybe it's pr oh it is okay this is pr like what is going on i'm not questioning the universe because this is like so amazing i'm so appreciative and grateful but like this is coming out of nowhere i get nars pr and now i get milk makeup pr I'm so excited. This is such simple packaging, but like so cute. Oh, we got some goodies. Okay. So first we have the Hydro Ungrip Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm. This is the, <gasps> stop. This is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. If you even like makeup a little, you've heard of this product, but it's always sold out and I never, could get my hands on it. I'm so excited to try this. Oh my God, I have to text Tori after this. This is the Hydro Grip Primer. This is, uh, I'm sorry, I'm like a little kid at Christmas. This is the Kush Clear Brow Gel. Packaging so cute. The Long Wear Eyeliner. I wonder if it's um like a, like the marker kind? Like what is this? Okay, it looks just like a regular black ooh black liner this is the kush mascara high volume conditioning mascara formulated with heart shaped fibers oh she's heavy and thick lastly we have two <gasps> of the, oh my God, I'm so excited. I love blush, y'all know. I will drown my face in blush, but I've only ever used powder blushes. I've never tried liquid blushes or like these blush bomb situations. I just haven't tried one. Okay, we've got these two colors. Hi, ma'am. Okay, so we have the shade Work and Quickie. I'm gonna swatch it, cause why not? So this is Work. So it's like a light, pretty pink. This one's really dark. So I'm wondering if it's as, if it like comes off as dark as it looks. Okay, so Quickie's the dark one. The lighter one is Work. So cute and so creamy. I cannot wait to try these. Thank you so much to Milk Makeup. I'm shook the house down boots. Like, cannot believe it. So excited to try everything. Okay, and then the next package is something, I'm pretty sure it's something that I bought. And if it is, it's something I've been waiting for for like a month and a half. It took so freaking long to get here. Okay, it is. So I 
came across this TikTok and this girl was sharing her skincare products and her skin was literal perfection. So I screenshotted everything that she uses and I bought it all. But it is all Korean skincare, I believe. So I bought it all from Yes Style, and when I tell you it took 150 years to get here, I'm gonna have to figure out like where else I can buy it because that, I'm not doing that every time. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna butcher all these names. Okay, so this is the Mugwort, Mugwort Essence, and apparently it's amazing. I've seen this all over TikTok. Then this product right here is the product that literally everyone says that you need to get. Like if you're gonna get anything, it's this one. This is the Coast RX Advanced Snail Mucin Power Essence. Apparently, this is the game changing product. Like hyaluronic acid, who is she? Niacinamide? No, it's this. This is what you need the Snail Mucin Power Essence. This one is the Soon Jung Two Times Barrier Intense Cream. The last thing was the sunscreen she uses. So I have a Korean sunscreen right now and I really like it, but because it was the first like Korean skincare product I tried, even though I do like it, I wanna like see what else is out there. And I'm almost done with that sunscreen. I'm definitely gonna use it up before I switch to this one, but I wanna try this one also. This is the Coast RX Aloe Soothing Sun Cream SPF 50. And then this one I got just cause I saw it when I was shopping around for these. This is the Coast RX Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. <sighs> you guys, I've been waiting, like I can't wait. The one thing out of like all the beauty things that I love, like I thoroughly enjoy doing it, is skincare. So I'm gonna film a TikTok doing a first impressions of these. Go check that out if you wanna know like how these products perform. I'm so excited. Okay, it is much later now. Um, it's eight o'clock and I'm about to cook dinner. Not chaotically, okay? I'm just cooking salmon and then i don't think we have any potatoes right now so i'll probably do rice and then i'll see what vegetables we have but first the dishes okay dishes are done sink and everything is clean. I've just been trying to contribute more. Vic does not complain. Like, I'm sure I've mentioned this in the vlogs before, but like Vic does everything. He cleans, he does the laundry, he takes out the trash. He usually does the cooking, he does the dishes, he does everything. He scoops Luna's litter box and I do essentially nothing. And he does not complain. He's never complained about it, but I don't know. I'm just like exiting this lazy phase and I just wanna contribute more so that's what i'm doing and i'm sure he appreciates it i mean i'm sure he doesn't enjoy doing everything but he doesn't complain when he does do everything so i'm just trying to help out more cleaning up tidying up doing the dishes and things like that so i'm cooking dinner we're gonna make salmon which i'm really excited about if i were to pick a protein 10 out of 10 times is gonna be salmon chicken's okay ground turkey's okay salmon is my bestie okay so we're gonna make salmon we are gonna make rice because i checked we don't have any potatoes um uh, we do have mashed potatoes should i make mashed potatoes or should i make rice I don't know. And then for vegetables, we have some carrots. So I'm gonna chop these up and cook these. We also have some frozen green beans. So I'm gonna do that. So let's get started. Real quick, do I wanna make rice or do I wanna make mashed potatoes? I think rice. Okay, rice is washed and I put water in it. We always do like more water than rice. That's just how I grew up doing it. So like I did four cups of rice, so I did six cups of water. white rice okay carrots are washed and chopped but i'm just gonna put some shedding olive oil on them and then we'll do okay i think we'll just do some salt and pepper i really have grown to like pepper as an adult as a kid i hated pepper i'll do some salt a little bit of garlic powder I've got that and I just need to put the salmon here and then we'll season that too. Ugh, I hate when it has the skin on it, freaks me out, but it's fine. Okay, for the salmon, we're gonna put some olive oil on the salmon. 
a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, a little bit of garlic. And then we're running low, but we have this salmon seasoning that we really like. It's called Chef Paul Magic Salmon Seasoning. It says it's sugar, salt, spices, onion, garlic, yellow mustard seeds, and paprika. It's real good. So I'm gonna do some of that. And then as soon as the oven is preheated, we'll just stick these in, the rice is going. One of the best simple meals is salmon, veggies, and rice, like so good. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just took the most brief, I wouldn't even call it a nap. You know when you're on your way to the deep sleep, but then someone like wakes you up and you kind of like startle, startle awake and your heart's beating fast, like really fast. That's, what's, that's how I feel right now. This was not a planned nap, I actually need to like go do stuff now. It's Thursday, April 20th, 4.20. I am about to color my hair right now, which we won't have time for in this vlog, but it will be in the next one. So yay, I'm so excited. Um, But yeah, to wrap up this vlog, I really don't like this about myself, but I can, I have such high highs and sh such low lows. A lot of people do, but the problem with me is that they switch so easily and so quickly based on like the smallest things. So I've been in a really good mood. Like I've been saying, I've had really good days and weeks so like recently cleaning and going through my closet and like decluttering it's made me feel great going back to the gym I've been on such a high and then random thoughts will make me go so low so quickly like for instance I posted a TikTok and it didn't perform well it's always the videos that you don't really care for that do well and the ones that you like so excited to post I don't know it's like you you had such high hopes for a video and then it flops it, it put me in a funk I did that last night and what's annoying what's even more annoying is that like yes we get caught up in the numbers but honestly I wouldn't personally care about the numbers as much if the numbers didn't affect how much money I make and I don't mean I've talked about this before but I don't mean through like how much TikTok pays me because TikTok doesn't pay me at all but I just mean like the reflection of the numbers on my page has an effect on brands reaching out how much brands are willing to pay me things like that which then affects like my whole life because that's how much that's how I make money so it's like I'm so frustrated and then when I'm scrolling Scrolling through the For You page, so many people's videos are blowing up. So when yours aren't, you start to think like, why am I not good enough? Am I not pretty enough? Is my content not good enough? Am I, is my personality not good enough? Am I boring? Like you start to just think, all these negative things about yourself because someone else can post either the same video and it gets a million views or they can post a video that has zero effort and took them two seconds what am i trying to say well like with zero intention and it and it blows up and then you like put so much work into it post it and it flops and you're just like what the fuck is the point you start to feel like what is the point i'm sorry i have to vent about this i know it's like i'm so appreciative to have like social media be my job but it's times like this that it's so frustrating and you get like it's very tough on the on the mental side thinking so low about yourself it's it's tough once it's your job like the risks is the stakes are so high the risk is so high that everything is like amplified right like you might not have cared about your views before, but now it's like crucial. Like I'm so happy this is my job and I don't want any other job. However, when it when this stuff happens, I wish I could just do something where no one has to see me and my life and my income is not affected by how others view me and like me. You know what I mean? So, you know. There's pros and cons to every job. I'm just in that funk right now. So that happened, which like completely turned my high into a very quick low. Once that happens, I start to spiral, really spiral. I'll be like, oh my God, like no one likes my content anymore. The brand deals are gonna fall off, which means this won't be my job anymore. And then I start to really spiral and be like, okay, so if this isn't my job anymore, like what am I gonna do? I cannot go back to a nine to five. So what am I gonna do? I start to think like, okay, what other career paths could I do? How could I make money? Like how can I save enough money to like invest in something? Like this these are my thoughts in the bed at night when a video flops so unhealthy so bad and then that thought process turns into like why can't i find my purpose why can't i have some incredible skill why can't that be me more down and more down and more down on myself of like i'm literally nothing and nobody and with zero talent zero skills and like what am i gonna do it all comes down to like what am i gonna do it gives me anxiety it stresses me out it makes me sad it makes me like low-key hate myself so i hate to end this vlog on such a complainy sad down note but you know i try to keep it real and that's just where we're at right now so it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine we're spiraling but it's it's gonna be fine anytime you've ever spiraled in life you came out of it because you're still here so 
I'm banking on that. We're gonna be out of it in just a few days. I just need a little, I just need a breather. Again, so sorry that this um, vlog is ending on a sour note, but I appreciate you guys watching so, so much. I will see you guys in the next video with hopefully new hair and hopefully a new attitude. Kinda new with apologies.